It's finally spring. The flowers are blooming. The leaves on trees are coming back. The birds are singing their morning songs and the butterflies and bees are buzzing from flower to flower. Today, we are going to talk about pollination. Who are the pollinators? Birds, bats, butterflies, moths, flies, beetles, wasps, small animals, and most importantly, bees are pollinators. They visit flowers to drink nectar or feed off pollen and transport pollen grains as they move from spot to spot. Nectar is a mixture of water and sugar that plants produce to attract pollinators. All flowers have a male part called the anther and a female part called the stigma. Pollen is a powdery substance that comes from the male anther. When pollinators move from one flower to another, the pollen attaches to their bodies and goes to other flowers. This makes it possible for plants to make seeds and reproduce. Pollination is necessary for food production. All of our plant-based foods, including grains, fruit, and veggies, need pollination. All of our animal-based foods, like meat, eggs, and milk, also need it because these animals eat plants, too. It is so important that plants have evolved over time to have bright, colorful flowers or delicious scents just to attract pollinators. If we didn't have flowers, we wouldn't have food at all. Talk about flower power. Some of the most common pollinators are bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. If you can keep an eye out for all the pollinators you see. If you plant flowers, this will also help feed the bees, birds, and butterflies. Keep an eye out for your favorite flowers and enjoy this lovely spring. <laughs>